I ain't ever seen a pretty Trump supporter. If you support Trump, you are ugly from the inside out. In this essay, I will prove Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you want to join the cuties fam, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell icon to get notified when I make new videos. All my socials are linked down below, including my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Patreon, Discord, Cameo, my Twitch. If you want to support me in any way that you can, that's all linked down below. Also, big shout out to all of my patrons because without you, I wouldn't be able to upgrade all of my equipment and stuff. So thank you for supporting me. Just know that all of the support I get on Patreon goes back into my channel so I can buy things to make my channel better. So in this video, we're going to be outlining this phenomena of celebrities supporting Trump and how it's affecting their careers. But not only that, but why? it's a bad thing. Why it's something that we should look down on as deplorable because a lot of people are saying, well, you know, it's just a difference of opinion. Why are you hating on people for exercising their right to vote and yada, yada, yada. So we're going to break it down, explain it. So I think we need to start off with saying that there is three main reasons why someone would decide to vote for Donald Trump. These reasons usually go together hand in hand. People will often vote for him for all three of these reasons, sometimes two of these reasons, maybe even one of these reasons, but it's always for at least one of these reasons. So the first reason that someone would vote for Trump is that they're simply uneducated. We know this because typically the most uneducated states, if we look at this graph, if we look at where the most educated states are and the least educated states are, typically, the least educated states will vote Republican and they are red states. And the most educated states will vote blue and are Democrat. There have also been many studies proving that people who seek a higher education and people who are highly educated are more likely to lean left and vote Democrat. So as people become more educated, they seem to lean blue and lean left. Interesting how that works, right? So reason number two why someone would vote for Donald Trump and this reason kind of goes hand in hand with the first one. They're usually, they usually go together and that's just that someone's ignorant. So yes, this can also fall under the uneducated category. Bad education, you know, isn't always a choice, but ignorance is. So usually these things go hand in hand. Some people are not only uneducated, they're also very hateful bigots. These people usually fall under the category of religious fundamentalists. Oh yeah, and to all you religious fundamentalists that are voting for Donald Trump, didn't Jesus teach you to love thy neighbor? Didn't Jesus tell you to help the poor. Blessed be the poor. Yeah, yeah, you're you're truly good Christians for taking away human rights from minority groups. You're truly really great Christians uh, for not helping the poor with health care. You're like, oh, let them die. Whatever. Jesus, Jesus would have came down and been like, you're voting for Trump? Oh no. Oh honey, that's not, that's not what I, that's not what I preached. That's, no and they're voting for Trump because they are religious fundamentalists. And if they're not, they're just straight up racist, homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, not caring about poor people looking asses, not to mention probably misogynistic and sexist. These are people who voted for Trump because they genuinely don't give a shit about you or me. Let's give them this much. They do care about some people, as long as you're white, cis, and heterosexual, then they care about you. But they clearly do not care about gay people, trans people, people from other countries, immigrants. They don't care. They want you gone. They want your rights to not exist. And that's why they are voting for Trump. They truly do want Trump to make America great again. But we all know that that really means they want to make America white again, or they want to make America straight again. So in turn, they're voting for Donald Trump because they are a bigot. And last, but certainly not least, the third and final reason that someone would decide to vote for Donald Trump. Drum roll, please. They're rich and privileged. Yes, folks, you heard it here first. It's because they're rich and privileged. And they don't want to lose those tax breaks that Trump was giving to them during his presidency. AKA, they're voting for Donald Trump because they are greedy 
and they're selfish. These are usually what you would call single policy voters. They're only voting for one policy. These voters don't give a shit about anything else. They're voting for one policy and one policy only. And these voters are voting for those tax breaks for the 1%. Anyone who's making $400,000 a year does not want to get the tax cuts that Biden's going to bring because God forbid their tax dollars goes to <laughs> socialized health care. Oh my God, are we in a communist country? Because truly these, uh, these real Christians are not for helping poor people who are dying. No, no, no. They get a million dollar bill from the hospital. They're like, ah, Sucks to suck, I guess. Probably should have made more money. They're like, my money? My tax dollars going towards your health care? I'd rather you just die. That's what these people are saying. They're so greedy. They're like, I would rather have tax breaks for my millions and billions of dollars than see some poor person in the projects uh, survive. That's what they're saying to you. That's why they're voting for Trump. They're just greedy. And genuinely looking at these three reasons why people ultimately vote for Trump is just proof to my belief that the root of all evil is religion and greed. The root of all evil. You can't convince me otherwise. You can't. There's no possibility. The root of all evil is religion and greed. And honestly, if you think back to it, religion just basically is greed. That's why it was created. But I digress. The reason I brought up these three categories is so that we can now look at these celebrities that voted for Trump and where they fall on the spectrum. So if there are three reasons why someone would vote for Donald Trump and all three reasons are equally in their own way deplorable, and then we look at these celebrities who voted for Donald Trump, we can also condemn them because it's not only a vote for someone, one. The reasoning behind it is also deplorable. Now, being uneducated is obviously not many people's fault. It has to do with the fundamental flaws in American society and how they do not fund public education properly. But in many of these cases with these celebrities, it's not a lack of education. It is either ignorance or greed. So a lot of these celebrities have come forward lately endorsing Trump and saying that they're voting for Trump. And then they're shocked when they get an obscene amount of backlash for it. These celebrities got so upset when they received backlash and they used the most played out talking point that I've ever seen in this election. They're like, people being mad that I exercised my right to vote is ridiculous. You guys are the ones causing division. No matter who wins, in the next few days, we all need to come together and unify as Americans. Like, no matter who wins or loses, this isn't a football game, Karen. This isn't a football game. People aren't just mad because they are losing $10 they bet on the Steelers in the Super Bowl. This is literally life or death for some people. This is literally human rights and equality being threatened. Do you understand that? People aren't just mad that you exercised your right to vote. They're mad that you had four years. You had four years to correct your mistake in 2016. You had four years to educate yourself. You had four years to grow as a moral human being. But instead, you chose yourself and you chose your money and you chose your bigoted beliefs over other human lives. And that is what is deplorable. That is is what is inexcusable. People aren't just mad that you exercised your right to vote. You voted against human rights. You voted against equality. And not only that, but you endorsed it publicly on your platform to millions and millions of people. You endorsed your bigotry. You endorsed your greed. You endorsed that you're uneducated to millions and millions of people. So in turn, when you received backlash, people have the right to be outraged with you, especially if they were a big supporter of you and came to the realization that they supported you, but you don't support them. Especially if one of your supporters was a member of the LGBTQ community, a, mem a member of the black community, a member of the community of fucking women, or any sort of minority group, disabled people, you voted against them. So they've been supporting you this whole time, but in turn, you have not been supporting them or their rights. Like, 
I'm not a fan of Biden, guys, but holy shit, at least he has a fucking heart. Okay, so now let's talk about the celebrities uh, that voted and endorsed Trump. The first people I want to talk about are the women of Dance Moms. Finding this out deeply disturbed me because I grew up watching Dance Moms. It was like one of my favorite shows. It felt as though I grew up with these girls. I watched them and their rise to fame. So I was incredibly disappointed when I was scrolling down my Twitter timeline and saw a tweet from Kalani. Actually, I don't even know how to pronounce her name. Hilliker? Kalani. Anyways. Now, Kalani joined the cast of Dance Moms a little bit later, but she was still a very key member of the group. So she tweeted this tweet saying, no matter who you're voting for, use your voice and vote. It's your right. Heart, American flag, hashtag Trump 2020. Um, ma'am. And of course, she got out ratioed by almost every great reply to this, uh, especially the one under it saying, everyone say it with me, Maddie deserved all the solos. Got 40.8 thousand likes. Hilarious. People were dragging her on Twitter. And then they went to her Instagram. And that's when I realized she went to a motherfucking Trump rally it was on her Instagram and it said it was a video of Trump at the rally. And of course, this rally is filled with people who are not wearing masks and not social distancing, right? Uh, we're in the middle of a fucking pandemic, Kalani. Have some fucking respect. And it says, no matter who you're voting for, use your voice and vote. It's your right. So again, what she was saying in the tweet there. And then she posted another story saying, America is the greatest country. Honey, this is how I know you're uneducated because who told you that? Who told you that America was the greatest country? The only thing you guys are like number one in is how much you spend on military and you guys are number one by a fucking landslide i feel like even if you cut the us's military budget in half it would still be number one so that's not something to be proud of you guys are low on almost every list every important list you guys suck you don't even have socialized health care Every progressive country, every country with the best quality of life has socialized health care. And you're sitting here telling me that America's the greatest country? Honey, that's blind patriotism. That's nationalism at its finest right there. That's you. That's you supporting a fascist who's telling you that. America's the greatest country because everyone has the freedom to express their own opinions. So no matter what happens this week, we need to all come together as Americans and respect one another. Why should anyone respect you when you voted for someone who does not respect them? But this was also followed by Kendall. Kendall, who was also a member of the Dance Moms crew, she retweeted the tweet that Kalani put, which I can only assume was like a sign of her voting as well for Donald Trump. So Maddie Ziegler, who is probably the most well-known face from Dance Moms. Of course, she was in the Sia music videos and she's, you know, very big on her own now. Her, Chloe Lacuziak, and Nia, who is the only black member of the cast, if I remember correctly, of Dance Moms, all have endorsed Biden and said they were voting for Biden. Now, I was really hoping that Nia would drag Kalani for what she posted. I could only imagine how upsetting it was for Nia to see Kalani and Kendall endorse Donald Trump. So Nia took to Instagram and posted on her story that post that Kalani had put saying America is the greatest country, blah, blah, blah. And she posted under it saying, America hasn't been great and it's not going to be great until we have people in office that care about people other than themselves. I definitely think everyone needs to respect each other, but it's so hard to respect a president who doesn't respect me or women or minorities or the LGBTQ community. I'm all for respecting people, but at a certain point when someone can't even denounce white supremacy, how can you have respect for that person? I thought Nia's response was perfect. It was a little bit too diplomatic for my liking. I would have personally publicly bashed Kalani and then unfollowed her, but then again, I'm just a petty bitch. I think what Nia did was mature and responsible and got the point across very clearly. Not only that, but also on Instagram, Todrick, who I think was one of the judges of uh, the Abby Lee dance competition or whatever. He's a very well-known black man in the you know dance and I think drag community as well. He commented on Kalani's recent Instagram post and said, I'm beyond disappointed. And that has 58 thousand likes. So then Kalani took to Twitter, of course, to give a response. Of course, she got the little notes app apology response in there, but a heart, a flag, and she tagged Donald Trump as if Donald Trump gives one fuck about her, bro. Stop simping over Donald Trump, you weirdos. She said, I haven't endorsed a political candidate in the past. Of course you haven't. You're a fucking first time voter. Okay, but anyways, but as a first time voter myself, I felt that now more than ever, it was important for everyone to use their voice and vote. 
no matter who they're voting for. There were two candidates to choose from, and although I don't agree with either, I believe Trump is the better choice for our country. Really? Wow. Okay. Interesting. It's important to note that I support the LGBTQ community, Latino, African American, Asian American, and all other ethnic communities. I am also a strong supporter of women's rights. Oh God, maybe you should have educated yourself on which party you align with more if those are your beliefs and things that you support. That makes no sense. You clearly don't support those things if uh, you vote for a party that doesn't align itself with those views whatsoever. But anyways, no one should be deterred from expressing their opinion in fear of being bashed, bullied, and denounced publicly by their friends. I felt obligated to exercise my First Amendment right to serve as a reminder to my friends and everyone else that feels they have to live a double life, supporting and voting for one candidate privately, yet publicly supporting the other out of fear of being attacked simply for their political beliefs. No matter what the results are, we need to remember that we're all Americans and we all need to respect one another, have productive conversations, and work together for the betterment of our country. Okay, Kalani, let's have some productive conversations because clearly you are so uneducated on these topics. I mean... I can't necessarily blame you. Clearly, your parents are Trump supporters as well and are probably just feeding you information. And you're also probably 18 and really uneducated. But someone needs to have some serious productive conversations with you if you thought any of this was correct. And then Tyler Oakley commented under, and it, it outratioed hers as well. Nah, supporting a racist, sexist, anti-LGBTQ fascist is a permanent stain on your character. Live with that. Amen. Amen to Tyler Oakley on that one. He said it perfectly. Now I understand why her and Kendall didn't get any of the solos and dance moms. It's wild, bro. I had no idea that they were like that, but that's really upsetting. And she's been losing mad followers. Like when I first saw her post on Instagram, she had 6.2 million followers and now she has only 6 million. So I'm assuming a bunch of people unfollowed her as well. That was a disturbing realization, but moving on. The next celebrity who supports Donald Trump is Stephen Baldwin. You may also know him as the father of Haley Baldwin or I guess Haley Bieber now. And he is also the younger brother of Alec Baldwin who plays the Donald Trump character on SNL. And basically he makes fun of Donald Trump for a living. His younger brother is a Trump supporter. So you can tell how that would probably create some controversy in the family when you have Alec Baldwin who is a diehard Trump hater and Stephen Baldwin, who is a diehard Trump supporter. And then you have Haley Baldwin, his daughter, who her and her husband, Justin Bieber, have both openly endorsed Joe Biden and have voted for him. And actually, Alec Baldwin hasn't spoken to his brother, Stephen, since 2016. But back in 2018, Stephen said, said that he thinks that Alec will eventually support Trump once he gets his tax breaks promised by the president. So we all know which category Stephen Baldwin falls under. We all know what he's really voting for. It's for his money. Great morality, Stephen. You sound like a really stand-up guy. Next celebrity we have is Little Pimp. Oh, sorry. I meant Little Pump, who last election tweeted, fuck Donald Trump in all caps on Twitter, and this election is at his reality pumping people up. I mean, just like Stephen Baldwin said, he probably saw those tax breaks and how much money he was saving from Trump's tax cuts and decided to simp for Donnie this year. I mean, he literally showed up at Trump's rally and Trump didn't even know who the fuck he was. He called him Little Pimp and brought him up on stage. And he was like, yeah, fucking Donald Trump. Here, I'll show you the video. Here it is. He's one of the big superstars of the world, Little Pimp. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How y'all? How you guys feeling? I come here to say, Mr. President, I appreciate everything you've done for our country. You brought the troops home, and you're doing the right thing. MAGA 2020. 20. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. And do not vote for Sleepy Joe at all. Anyways, the next celebrity we have is Kirstie Alley. She was an aggressive one. She tweeted, I'm voting for Donald Trump because he's not a politician. I voted for him four years ago for this reason and shall vote for him again for this reason. He gets things done quickly and he will turn the economy around quickly. There you have it, folks. There you have it. 
wow, voting for someone because they're not a politician. It's not a great reason to be voting for someone. Also, he gets things done quickly. Like what? What did he get done quickly? Getting rid of gay and transgender rights? Yeah, he did that pretty quickly. Understandable. Um, then she tweeted this, which I thought was fucking hilarious. An open message to all you loving, tolerant, righteous, enlightened, kind, cozy boo-boo bears. You who have slung slurs at us for four years, such as Nazi moron, Hitler, net redneck, Cheeto, idiot cultists, you are why we voted for Trump. I pray we give you four more years of name calling. Honey, you and I both know that's not why you voted for Trump. That is just trying to blame shift, being like, you're the reason we voted for Trump. Like, you guys suck so bad, that's why we voted for Trump. No, we all know that you're doing it for your money. Just admit just admit that you're protecting your money and go. Stop blaming other people. Oh my god, they called me, they called me a name. They called me a bad name, so I voted for a bigot. Congrats. The next celebrity we have that voted for Donald Trump is Lil Wayne, which made me pretty freaking mad. If anyone knows me, in high school, I was a super big Lil Wayne fan. He was even the background, like he was the wallpaper of my Blackberry for like two years. And then I changed it to Tyga. And then I changed it to like Derrick Rose or something. But I found myself not supporting Lil Wayne anymore after the realization of how kind of really fucking creepy he is. Let me give you a little bit of tea that I have on Lil Wayne from high school, okay? Here, come in for the celebrity tea. So when I was in high school, the big drama of the school was, I forget what grade I was in, but there was this grade 12 who went to the Lil Wayne concert that happened in our city. And Lil Wayne, who was 30 years old at the time, invited her and her friend back onto his tour bus alone. They were about 16 or 17 years old at this time. And a 30 year old man, 30 year old rapper invited these two minors onto his tour bus to like drink and smoke weed and stuff. Obviously like pictures surfaced of them on this tour bus and everyone started freaking out. The pictures were just like hella sus and like really inappropriate, honestly. But the rumor was that these two girls hooked up with Lil Wayne. The girls obviously denied it and they had this like infamous video. It was like a response video to all the rumors going around our city. And everyone like made fun of it for like years after because I forget what the last line was. It was like, Forget what you heard, remember what you see. Or something like that. It was really, really cringy. Thank you haters for giving me my 15 minutes of fame. I really appreciate it, but it's a really big shame that the absolute best rapper alive might have got his reputation stained for it. Fuck what you heard, recognize what you see. But anyways, I remember everyone like kind of bullying this girl and like looking down on her for like everything but looking back on it like why wasn't everyone looking down on little wayne a 30 year old who brought like two 16 year olds onto his tour bus and clearly did some sort of inappropriate behavior with them but anyways after Lil wayne endorsed trump his girlfriend broke up with him and i just want to say good on you sis you rock don't ever change that was hilarious i'm so glad she broke up with him next celebrity we have is stacy dash from the movie Clueless. She's a well-known conservative in Hollywood. So to be honest, I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised. Uh, next, we have John Voight, who's Angelina Jolie's father. Uh, he's an avid Trump supporter. So again, disappointed, but not surprised. Uh, all his shit is like religion-based. He's like, oh, well, like the left isn't what's going to run this country properly in the Christian way. Uh, but we all know he's just trying to protect his money. Then we have 50 Cent, who we have been knowing that 50 Cent is supporting Trump from his tweets and shit. So again, disappointed, but not surprised. Those are all the most interesting celebrities, in my opinion, openly said that they were voting for Trump. Now, what worries me is again, what Kalani said in her post, people that are publicly maybe saying Biden, but secretly voting for Trump or people who haven't said anything at all, like Kim Kardashian, who in this picture said she voted, but she's wearing red. So a lot of people thought, well, why are you wearing red? Did you vote red? And then she liked a bunch of tweets that were about Biden and Kamala Harris. So they were like, did you vote blue or did you vote red? Just let us know so we know if we can hate you or not. But it actually makes me worried because I'm like, how many celebrities or how many influencers am I supporting that low-key voted for Donald Trump? Like, it susses me out because you look at people like, for example, Addison Rae, right? She seems like a, you know, a sweet girl and everything, but she's from Louisiana. And she also got in trouble for something negative she posted about the BLM movement, like back a few years ago. You know, it's like, does she hold those beliefs secretly and her family are Trump supporters and they all voted for Trump and they're not saying anything because she doesn't want to lose followers? How many people are protecting their image by not saying that they voted for Donald Trump? It's like, how many people am I supporting? How many people do I like online that wouldn't support me as a member of the LGBTQ community or wouldn't support me as a woman or wouldn't support me, you know, 
as any sort of minority, you know? And it scares me and I would really like to know, honestly. Before we end this video, I want to take a second to prove my point that I made at the very beginning of this video. I have never seen a pretty Trump supporter. So now I want you to take a look at all of these famous Trump supporters, okay? Just take, take a look, right? And now I want you to take a look at all of these celebrities who are Biden supporters, who are voting blue. And I think that's all the proof you need. Here's the secret to beauty, folks. When you're beautiful on the inside, when you support policies and legislations and ideologies and beliefs that care for other human beings, when you support love, when you choose love instead of hatred, when you denounce bigotry and white supremacy and homophobia and transphobia and Islamophobia and xenophobia and misogyny, when you denounce those things, you shine from the inside out. The wrinkles stop, your hair looks shinier, and you just look hotter. When you support human rights, when you support equality, you just look hotter. It's science, just trust me. It's it's science. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you so much. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below because you know I appreciate that so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. <laughs>